Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to be going over an NCLEX practice question, specifically over bronchodilators and corticosteroids used for respiratory disease. So let's take a look at our NCLEX question. The physician prescribes a patient to take inhaled fluticasone, which is Flovent HFA, and inhaled albuterol, which is Ventolin HFA, for the treatment of asthma. As the nurse, how will you administer these medications? A, first administer the fluticasone and then give the albuterol five minutes later. B, first administer the albuterol and then give the fluticasone one minute later. C, first administer the fluticasone and then give the albuterol immediately. Or D, first administer the albuterol and then give the fluticasone five minutes later. So this question wants to know how we are going to administer this fluticasone and this albuterol because there is a certain way in the order of how we should give them based on how they work. So let's take a look at how they work. Okay, fluticasone, which is also called Flovent. Do you remember what drug this is, what category it falls into? It falls into our corticosteroids. And this patient has asthma. So what this corticosteroid is gonna do is it's going to decrease inflammation. Cause remember it really suppresses our immune system which is gonna take away that inflammation cause that's what our immune system's doing. It's inflaming the body. So it's great at preventing symptoms in that person with asthma. Now, one thing I just want to throw in at the side, because as a nurse, you are going to be administering these corticosteroid inhalers. And I have a whole video where I went over how to give meter dose inhaler um, administration for meds. But whenever you give these corticosteroids, you want to make sure that these patients gargle and rinse their mouth with water and spit that water out after using. Because these medications can cause thrush and irritate those mucous membranes. So remember that. Okay. Our next drug is albuterol, which is Ventolin, which is a type of albuterol. Now what is albuterol? Remember, it is a bronchodilator and specifically it's a short acting one. So it works for a short period of time. And what does this drug do? Just as its name says, it's going to open the bronchi and the bronchioles of the lungs. So you're going to get more airflow through those lungs. And this is what a person with asthma really needs because they have bronchoconstriction going on. So they need this bronchodilator. After they inhale it, it pops those lungs open and they can breathe and get air. Now, how are we gonna be giving these? Who needs to go first whenever you're giving the inhaler? You have two inhalers, one's a bronchodilator, one's a corticosteroid. Well, based on how it works, what do you think? The answer is you wanna give that bronchodilator first because it's gonna open up those airways. So this is what we're gonna give first. Then we're going to give the corticosteroid because once the lungs are nice and open. That corticosteroid, whenever they inhale it, can get in those small airways and decrease that inflammation because if we didn't give that bronchodilator first, those airways wouldn't really be opened up and that corticosteroid couldn't get in there and do its job. So we'll give that second, okay? But how long do we really need to wait in between those? We need to give the albuterol time to work, to do its job. So we're gonna wait five minutes in between those two doses, okay? Now let me just throw something out there just for more information. Say you were giving albuterol and they needed two puffs and you weren't gonna be giving corticosteroids. And this is the same if you're just gonna be giving corticosteroids. So they need two puffs of albuterol. You would give one puff and then you would wait one minute because it's the same drug and then you would give the other one, okay? So just remember that to keep that straight because sometimes students get that confused. So our answer is going to be D. First administer albuterol and then give fluticasone five minutes later. Okay, so that wraps up this NCLEX review question. Be sure to check out my other questions in this series. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.